Hi, welcome to WiseCat. Well, I should say welcome back. Just before I was in my last video, I was showing you how to back up Moodle www directory and the um, Moodle data directory, but the most important one was still to come. So if we bring back Rubber Ducky and the wing tip of the day, which is, you know, do your backups. Well, now let's focus on the most important one, the SQL database. And if we do look at the SQL database, uh, there are a few different types. There's PostgreSQL and there is MySQL. In this video, I'll be looking at how to back up MySQL via the command line. Now this can actually change depending on whether you're using um, you know, a cPanel or something like that. Some people are using PHP MyAdmin. I'm not, I'm doing everything on command line because I like command line, command line's good. So um, I am going to show you how to do this on the command line because that's what I know. Okay, so anyway, first of all, uh, we need to enter the uh, MySQL prompt. Now you might either have sudo MySQL, uh, if you're running VPS like I am, you will have that. You can otherwise, uh, you might have to use the user um, and might be Moodle user uh, and a password. Now this username password combination, if you just do the dash P here, um, it should ask you for the password. I don't actually have mine at the moment, but um, if you were to, um, sorry, whoops. Oh yeah, of course I got it wrong. Um, <laughs> but cause there isn't a user called Moodle user, I don't think on this one. But if you were to look for that, uh, if you don't have sudo access in particular, you can actually find this information, the user and the password in the config.php file. So that's a good place to go looking for it. Um, it's like CFG um, database DB user DB password. And the DB name, also the database's name will be in there as well. But on a VPS, often you'll have sudo mysql will get you in. And it doesn't matter if you're uh, using mysql or MariaDB, they pretty much, if you're using either, you can just use sudo mysql and it'll get you in. The mysql uh, program will actually get you in to uh, see it. I'm actually using MariaDB here, but it, you know, as I said, no biggie. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is show databases to see what the database names might be. Now, if you don't recognize which one it is, um, then go to your config.php and make sure you're getting the right one. Uh, in mine, I can see that I only have one called Moodle, and so that's the one I'm going to uh, back up. So I can exit from the MySQL prompt now because I don't need it anymore. The only thing I was going in there to check was what is the name of the Moodle database. And I know now that it is called Moodle, and so that is what I'm going to back up. So I am in my home directory now, where I made this uh, 3.tar.gz earlier. So I'm gonna make a same, I'll, I'll gzip it up as well and put it right here, right beside um, the uh, tarball for the documentation, right? So the command that I want to run is sudo again. Um, again, the dash u dash p will work. Um, MySQL dump. And because I want to dump the MySQL database completely. And I'm going to sudo MySQL dump. And the database name was Moodle. All right, so I'm, I've grabbed that Moodle database name from up here, and I'm dumping the Moodle database. Right, now what I wanna do is I said that I wanted to actually, I mean, you can just output that file into Moodle.sql, sure, no problems. And that will actually take a, um, a, a backup right there, but wouldn't it be better to zip this thing up? So let's, instead of that, here is where we'll actually put it in. We'll put in a little pipe here and pipe that to gzip um, with high compression, dash nine, you know, crank it up to nine. 
and we'll put it in this file here, moodle.sql.gz. So that's a fairly descriptive file name. Um, some people sometimes say that you should add a date name to the date to the file name, but actually, if you look at the files themselves, you can actually see May 9th, this tarball was created. May 9th, the same date, this was here. So the files in you know Linux systems anyway, they're going to get these um, these um, you know the the it's going to be there anyway. The the date's going to be there, so you don't really have to worry about it too much. I will get rid of this three directory. I forgot that I'd left that there. It's not interchangeable, Adam. What are you doing? Okay, so rmrf3. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I've got permission denied, don't I? Because I've got sudo. Yeah, I'll just sudo that. <laughs> okay, so now I've got my um, backups of absolutely everything I need for this Moodle. I've got my 3.tar.gz, which contains the Moodle data directory and the Moodle uh, www code. And I've got my SQL database. But what's that again? Oh, Rubber Ducky is not satisfied because Rubber Ducky is saying, I must test to make sure that that can be used to restore this Moodle. So I can see right now I have a working Moodle and it's perfectly working fine. And I'm going to throw caution to the wind and I am going to do the terrible thing. Um, so, so let's say that the, the database did become corrupted. Um, or something bad happened to the, the database, like I, you know, uh, upgraded to master or something like that. What do you do to revert from the uh, the backup that we just took? Well, um, I can simulate that by going sudo mysql, and this one is uh, don't try this at home, folks, unless you absolutely are confident that you are doing the right thing here. But I can just drop database. This is how you delete a database is you drop it. If you drop it, it's gone. Um, don't expect to ever get it back if you write this command. When you write this command, you are destroying the database. It's it's gone. Uh, so drop database Moodle. It is way too easy to do this. All right. Now you're starting to understand why we need backups. <laughs> we need backups because that's real easy to do. <laughs> All right, uh, let's come back to, oh my goodness, error, database connection failed. Oh, I have broken this Moodle. <laughs> of course I have. Um, there's no Moodle there. So how are we going to get that back? Okay, um, let's go back in here. And so uh, I can do that. So inside of my uh, folder here, I actually have the uh, file here, it's it's gz it up. So what I might actually do first is I'll just gun zip it. Gun zip, g unzip. That just unzips the SQL file. Moodle, and, yep, that's just gonna unzip it. And now it's unzipped and you can see this is only a baby little one, 1 1.5 megabytes. It's got practically nothing in that one. But now I've got an SQL file and if we look at it, if you want to take a peek, just use less and then you get in there. And you'll be able to see it will actually set up the database and everything. And it'll, you know, it's all a whole bunch of queries uh, that are just used to, um, you know, drop if table exists. It just sets it up, sets it all up. Just the, there's a bunch of commands that will set up the, make the, recreate a database. And that, that's sort of what we're doing. We're not sort of restoring from backup. We are recreating the bar database in the way it was before. So uh, cue to get out of uh, less. So we can recreate the database. We can't actually restore it. We can recreate it though. So I'm gonna to wanna to go to sudo mysql one more time here. Um, I am going to go before that, uh, before that well and truly, well, I've got my grant. Uh, so I'm going to create the database with the same commands as I originally did. So I'm just recreating it now and I'll grant the same permissions. Um, 
yeah, to new user. Yeah, that's fine. So now I've got an empty one here. If I now go back to this page here, it'll think that I'm trying to reinstall from from zero. So I don't want to do that. And by the way, you might want to put your firewall up while you're doing this so that nobody else grabs control of your, your Moodle. Um, but what I want to do next is I want to actually do the sudo MySQL. And this time I want to tell it to use the database Moodle that we just created a fresh one. And I want to chug in there. Now notice that, that we've got the, the, when you're th the thingamabob is actually going the opposite direction. Now, um, before when we were making the, um, the, um, the backup, it was pointing to the right, going out of MySQL, it dumped, it was dumping out. Now it's going in, All right? So in, we're going to go into that and we're going to use our Moodle SQL file that we just gun zipped before, g unzip. And that's it. That's, that's restoring it. And once that completes, I should have a working Moodle here. Okay, moment of truth, do I? Boom, it's back. All right, so I can have, um, I can mess this up as much as I like, however I want. Um, you know, if you know, I can still log in, boom. I can still go into the courses and things like that. I can see the participants, etc. So I've got my working, my working Moodle back. That's how you restore a database. Now, one of the questions is when should I do um, the database dump, right? The, the initial dump. Uh, when should I run this command? This is the, this is the dump command one more time. And this is the uh, command for restoring. Right, and it's after it's been gun zipped, right? You want to gun zip it first. But how often should I run the, the dump command? Um, okay, so I do mine personally. I tend to do mine at least twice a week. Uh, once in the wee hours of uh, Monday morning and once in the wee hours of Thursday morning. Um, there are certain more mission critical ones where I'll do it every day. Um, it's, you know, and, and then I'll synchronize the backup. So if you put this, say, inside of the three directory, if you, if you actually put your sql.gz, well, let's, well, let's do it. Um, cd slash srv. All right. Uh, um, one, uh, SRV. one place you can put it is in the three here. Right. I mean, you want to actually secure this backup fairly well because it's got everything there, but you can actually inside of here, you can make a directory like uh, make der. Oh, we don't, I don't have a dot. Yeah, I own dot. Good. Okay. Make der, uh, say SQL backups. Right. Um, CD uh, SQL backup. And uh, where's my... Back up, there it is. Um, and boom, I'll just chuck one in there now. All right, and so now I've got, uh, it's in the three directory. So if it's under this three directory, remember what I was saying before about uh, you back up this directory? Well, you back up this one three directory. Now, you put it, put your uh, SQL backups in there. You back up this one directory. You've got the most recent SQL backup. You've got in the Mo the Moodle data directory and the www all in one fell swoop right there right they won't be a perfect match uh, unless you actually put the site into maintenance mode first but you know, ideally yeah you put the site in maintenance mode you run the uh, SQL back dump and then you back up this directory immediately into a tarball somewhere else and save that that tara.gz some someplace else that will make sure that you have a nice consistent backup that you can 
respond to problems with fairly quickly and easily because you you have when you need to revert it you need to move it to another server or something uh you you have everything you need in one tar.gz file that's definitely um helpful okay so uh anyway this was uh, sql database backup so uh, yeah, I'll leave uh, some of these commands. I'll, I'll put these commands in the um, description below as to the extent that they'll fit. I have had trouble with the pipe. I, I think it was the pipe character or something. But um, uh, definitely uh, don't let yourself be caught without a backup because backups save um, careers. <laughs> Um, there's, there's a saying that I actually like about backups. Uh, I'll leave you with this thought. The number one reason to make a backup and to have backups is to make sure you'll never need them. Because the, you know, it's Murphy's law that the time when you're going to need the backup is when you didn't take one. Um, so yeah um you shouldn't have a backup you should have buckets and buckets and buckets of backups have backup backups all the time take a backup now take another one tomorrow why not it's not going to hurt anyone um but if you get caught needing a backup and not having one ooh, that's painful so avoid the pain um, stay safe with, with your server. Uh, keep, keep your servers nice and nice and safe by keeping good backups. Okay. Thank you. See ya.